दसन कांति चूने सहित लीव आयुष दंता लेते दत्तुल एति प्रश्न दहाया क्वालकाई The ceremony to begin construction work to develop the West Container Terminal at the Colombo Port was held this evening. It was held today with the participation of Minister of Ports, Shipping and Aviation Nimal Siripala de Silva and Indian High Commissioner to Sri Lanka Gopal Bagle. An 800 meter long section of the Western Terminal will be developed as the first phase of the project. Eight semi-automatic cranes are expected to be used for the activities of the terminal while 18 fully automatic cranes will be used for the container operations at the terminal. A fully automatic gate complex and a special data analysis system is also expected to be established there. 1.6 million containers are expected to be handled at the Western Terminal annually following the construction of the terminal. Meanwhile, the Ports Authority says that the first phase is to be completed by the 3rd of April 2024 and the entire construction of the entire terminal is to be completed by the middle of 2026. So, when the Sri Lanka is struggling to earn foreign exchange by various means this has been a catalyst for our development in sri lanka so therefore we are very delightful today because i wanted this terminal to come up very very soon and we are grateful to india during the good times as well as in the difficult times india had rescued us in the forex crisis they gave us more than 4 billion us dollars to bail out the situation No other country has given that to us. So, Your Excellency, let me take this opportunity to thank the Indian government and the people of India for the great support they have extended to us to come over this crisis. As far as this project is concerned, not only that, India should come more and more and invest in Sri Lanka. I'm really privileged and delighted today because when I arrived in Sri Lanka about two and a half years ago, this was one of the main objectives in pursuing a closer economic partnership between india and sri lanka that india and sri lanka should be able to leverage and benefit from each other's strength and capacities how do we do that was the question there was never a doubt in the objective or the intent or the willingness of the two sides to pursue this path for mutual benefit for mutual prosperity and i'm very happy to see that what was started last year in terms of various processes which kishan mentioned has come to fruition and is taking off today